Every June, Men's Health Month serves as a crucial reminder of the pressing need to prioritize men's well-being. While it's a time to celebrate fathers and male figures, it's also a sobering occasion to confront the stark realities of men's health statistics. Here to address some of those issues, we have Tim. Hey, Tim, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So, Tim, there is a stigma around men talking about health and preventative care. Can you address how Movember is going to encourage men to speak more openly about this? Yes, as Movember, you know, we're predominantly known for our campaign in November where men shave and grow mustaches to raise awareness. But we're here in June during Men's Health Week to that point to combat some of the stigmas and stereotypes that exist around men's health. So at Movember, we're not scared to have a little fun while doing good. So we want to use humor and relatable content to reach men to break down those barriers and stigmas associated with men's health. So how is Movember leading the charge in pushing boundaries to focus on men's overall health? Yeah, we know that unfortunately men die almost four and a half years younger than women and for largely preventable issues. So what we want to do is create simple and easy steps that men can take to live better lives, which we're calling the Men's Health Five. So number one, to stay connected with their friends and family and to make time for their loved ones. Number two, to talk more, to open up to their friends and family and to also be the kind of people that their friends and family can come to to confide in. Number three, to know the numbers around prostate cancer. At age 50, men should be talking to their doctors about their prostate cancer and, and PSA tests and even earlier if they fall into high risk groups. Number four, to know thy nuts. With testicular cancer being the number one cancer in young men and highly curable if caught early, we want men to know what normal feels like and to get checked out if something doesn't feel right. And number five, to move and be more active and to find activities that they enjoy so they can live healthier and happier lifestyles. Yeah, that's great. Those are some great tips right there. What commitments have been made to leading research to create better men's health for generational change, Tim? Yeah. At Movember, we use the collective impact model. So we'd love to partner with other organizations to make sure the impact that we make is effective and impactful as possible. A few of those are around our partnership with Open Doors, which is a leading NIL provider and platform for college athletes. And so we're partnering with them to bring mental health curriculum to train over 120,000 college athletes to be better equipped to deal with the pressures of life. And as they move in post sport to be future leaders, to create the next generation that's better equipped to deal with stress. We're also partnering with Laureus, an organization that has spent decades increasing access to sport in underserved communities in Chicago and New York and around the country. And we're partnering with them so that youth can be better equipped to deal with the challenges of their lives. And then lastly, we're partnering with the Clinton Global Initiative to really understand what masculinity means in this modern era and how we can develop more positive influences and role models, particularly in social media, especially on TikTok, where we know there are some harmful narratives going around that are really affecting the mental health of youth and young men. Yeah, I love that you're helping to change the narrative around that, Tim. What about individuals and communities? What steps can we take to support men's health initiatives and beyond? Yeah, it's critical to really help empower men to take control of their lives and challenge some of these harmful and masculine norms that prevent them from doing so. We want men to develop a greater personal awareness of their own health and to proactively seek care when they find something that's wrong. We want them to create better lifestyles and have positive habits and create positive support networks so when they do encounter health challenges, they're not going through it alone. Yeah, well, Tim, thank you for shedding light on this, raising awareness, and you can see on the screen right there for more information, you can head over to Movember.com.